What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Jones at 4K bringing you guys another Forza Horizon 5 Drift Build and Tune video. Now in today's video, we're going to be getting into the new 2023 BMW M2. We're going to get into the build, followed by the tune, and then we're going to take it out to the mountain to see if we can three-star the zone and also put down a million points plus. Let's get right into it. All right, so without wasting any time, diving into the build of this car. So for the motor swap, believe it or not, I left the stock motor. I didn't try the V8, I didn't try the V10, and I didn't try the 2JZ. We're using a stock motor, and we left this car real wheel drive. We have the race clutch, we have the four speed drift transmission, we have the race drive line, and then we also have the drift differential. Under platform and handling, we have the race brakes, we have the drift springs and dampers, we have the race front row bars and the race rear row bars. We have the race roll cage, and then we have a race weight reduction. For aero and appearance, you really couldn't change anything. You can just add the Forza pieces. I did not add the Forza wing, and I did not add the Forza uh, bumper. For tires and rims, we have the semi-slick compound, the Horizon style. For the front tire width, we left the stock at 275. For the rear tire width, we left the stock at 285. And then for our wheel choice, we are using the Vorsteiner's VFF 104s. For the rim size, we left the stock at 19 in the front. And then we left the stock at 20 in the rear. For the track width, we have it maxed out in the front. And then for the track width in the rear, we left the stock. For the engine components, we have the race intake, the race fuel system, the race ignition, the race valves, the race camshaft, the race exhaust, the race engine block, the race pistons and compression. We have the race twin turbo without the anti-lag, the race flywheel, stock oil and coolant, and then we have the stock intercooler, giving this car 894 horsepower, 720 foot-pounds of torque with a 50-50% weight distribution. Then jumping over into the tuning of the car, we have 28 front PSI with 17 rear PSI. For the gear ratio, we have a 430 final drive, a 246 first gear, a 164 second, a 125 third, and then a one to one fourth gear. For the alignment, we have negative five degrees camber in the front. I took out the camber in the rear for zero zero. For the toe, we have no toe in the front, no toe in the rear seven degrees front cast angle. So the reason why I know normally I always have toe and like mostly toe in the camera in the rear stuff, but this car felt very, this, this car is really grippy. And every time I added toe, it just felt more grippy and I didn't like the way it felt. So this car with it being 50, 50 drives very well without the toe and without the camber. For the roll bars, we have 33 in the front with 22.3 in the rear. For our springs, we have a 728 front spring and a 336 rear spring. And then we have the front ride height all the way down at 4.3 and then the rear ride height all the way down at 5.7. For the dampening, we have 10.5 in the front with 7.3 for the rebound stiffness. And then for our bump stiffness, we have 3.4 in the front, 2.4 in the rear. For the aero downforce, we have nothing adjustable in the front or the rear. For our brake balance, we have 70%, and then for our brake pressure, we have 70% as well. And then lastly, for our differential, we have 100% acceleration with 100% deceleration, giving this car a lock diff. That was the build. This is the tune. Let's take it out to the mountain to see if we can restart the zone. All right, guys, we done made it to the top of the mountain without wasting any time. Let's send it downhill. I'm not gonna lie, this BMW sounds sounds weird. But even though even though it sounds weird, it definitely drives very, very great. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this BMW is actually ugly. Like I don't I don't know what it is about these new BMWs, man, but I I don't like the way some of these BMWs look. Like at all. Like I'm not I'm not trying to poop on BMW, but man, some of these some of these newer BMWs, I just don't like the way they look at all. Like the G82 looks clean. I like the way the G82 looks, but some of these newer ones, man, like, and then this one, this one here don't have a body kit. 
they don't have a body kit at all so it's just i mean it, i don't know man tell me what you guys think down below like i i'm not a fan honestly i'm not i'm not a fan at all but i uh i do want to say uh you know like always y'all you know but I get, I get videos out when I can, y'all. Y'all know I, I, I work a lot. I work 12-hour shifts, sometimes 16-hour shifts, and I, I be busy. You know, I work in the medical field, so I, I really I really be busy sometimes, guys. And I, I do have children, and I get drained. And it's not that I don't want to get videos out for you guys. It's just, man, listen. Shoo! The boy be beat. I be, I, I do, I, I be beat, man. But I'm going to always continue to try to get videos out for you guys and give you guys as good as good quality videos as i can i mean i know they're not they're not the best of the best you know but i'm going to keep getting you guys cards out and then forza forza motorsport the new one is right around the corner and if any of you guys don't know i do i used to be an esports pro drifter in forza motorsport uh i competed two years um i was i i was a wheel driver i mean i guess technically i am a wheel driver but i have to replace my thrustmaster i have a thrustmaster tx and this is my second wheel that i've destroyed so I'm either gonna replace that Thrustmaster with another one or I'm gonna go direct drive, but it just depends on what the what the wheel what the wheel support is like. Oh lag, holy hell. It's uh it just depends on what the wheel support is like in Forza, that's all. But I will be I definitely will be making Forza content. Any any competitions or any leagues and stuff that I join, uh, I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride, whether I do good, whether I do bad, you know. So so you guys can expect that. I'm definitely gonna try to get out some motorsport content, try to get out some wheel content for you guys. I just gotta decide on what I'm gonna do wheel wise. Cause I'm gonna spend four, five, six hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars for something. It's gonna be it's gonna be worth it. And it's gonna I wanna make sure that, you know, Forza has somewhat decent uh support for it. So But this BMW, like I, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have I really don't have much to say about this BMW because one, it's ugly to me. This BMW is very ugly. This motor with the four speed definitely drives very nice. I will say that the 275, 285 wheel setup uh, is really nice on this car. I mean, we did it. I mean, the car drives. I mean, you ain't gotta go overkill with the power because I was definitely gonna put a thousand horsepower in this car. But I wanted to see what the stock motor does and how it felt. The car, the car drives nice. The car handles nice. The car, I mean, if you want to, if you want to drift a car, you can drift this car. It don't, it don't take a lot of skill to drive this car. I, I absolutely just hate, man. I, I don't know why. I'm just not a fan of the way this car looks. Like I, I'm not like, I don't know. Like these front, I, man, I don't know. Like on the appearance scale, on the scale of one to ten, I'll give it about a six and a half. 6.25 it's just it's just not it for me you know the back is okay the back i mean it looks like a standard back bmw you know the you know the sides and all that the way the curvature of the body is that's all looks standard man but I, I don't know the front the front is just it ain't it it's just not it for me guys I don't, I don't know but like i said drifting wise the car definitely does what you need to do it handles well it drives well it's a it's a fun car it's fun it's worth to get it like i said it's only 20 points if you guys get these new cars that come to the game i would take the time to get them out especially if it's only 20 points and you don't have the car because you know how forza horizon goes it's going to be a new car and then it's going to be worth 10 million for no reason later on so i would just grab the car but it's a fun car Def definitely fun car to have i drove it around for a couple hours uh I did a couple, did a couple um, arcades with it by myself solo, which I mean, those are easy to do. I definitely had all successful downhill runs. I've done some drift zones. I set new scores in with this car. You guys, yeah, I would say grab it. Just, I would definitely say grab it. It's worth the grab. But that is gonna be it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below if you have any other suggestions or want to see any other car builds. Subscribe to the channel as we are going. And I did do a test stream live stream on YouTube. I did do a test stream and everything went perfect. I didn't have no drop frames. Quality was good. So keep a lookout and make sure you get those no bell turned on. So when I go live, but I'll see you guys in the next video.